Hello. So on my last video, someone named Just a Girl, her response was uh, essentially like no matter how no matter how crappy or how dirty your camera is, uh, it can't hide how ugly you are or ugly your face is. Ugly your mug is. She called it a mug. One of my favorite restaurants in uh, in Loomis to go to for lunch is the Ugly Mug. Free advertising. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, my Ugly Mug. So being an adult and having a thick skin and having been on the internet most of my adult life, all of my adult life, most of my life, um, I don't care what people call me. I know how good looking I am or not. I know how relatively attractive I am to the opposite sex. I know, I know my general worth as a catch, as a potential mate. First, your family law attorneys who uh, dress well, who are intelligent, who are upwardly mobile. Huh? I know, I know what the ladies like, and I do like the ladies. Anyway, my point being. I don't care what some random person on the internet says about the way I look. I absolutely don't care about it. Could not care less. Could not care less. Um, so I asked this person, but am I wrong? But am I wrong? It was a 15 minute video of me explaining using the highest criminal court in Texas to explain exactly how and why everything that Earl has said and done is useless, is meaningless, is a waste of time and money. It's propaganda to propagandize you. And her response was, très magnifique. Her response was, were you wrong? I don't know. I didn't even watch your video. But I don't think like, I don't, I don't feel, I don't, I don't know. She said, I don't think, I don't think you're trying to help the community. And I, and I suppose I'm going to get attacked over it. Oh, you poor victim. You poor victim. Oh, the victim points are real kids. She's a victim. She's a victim. She's going to be attacked over it. You're getting your own video, honey. <laughs> uh, number one, I didn't seek you out. I didn't find your channel just to randomly insult you. That's number one. Uh, number two, you don't. You didn't even watch my video. How could you know if I'm trying to help the community? How could you know a goddamn thing about a goddamn thing if you saw my ugly mug and you said, ah, you're ugly, and you were done from there? You are speaking from a literal place of ignorance. And third, and probably most importantly, and this goes out to the vast majority of the community, is you are confused into believing that you're thinking. You're not thinking. You are reacting, you're emoting, but you're not thinking. If you are thinking, you would actually pause and consider what I said, but you don't. You react, oh my God, you're so smug. You're so mean. You're so condescending. You're so abusive. Oh, oh, I just can't handle this emotional turmoil. Oh, where is my fainting couch? Where are my smelling salts? Oh dear me. <laughs> it's fucking retarded. You're fucking retarded. You're not thinking. You're absolutely not thinking. You are not taking the information provided. You're not examining the source. You're not figuring out if what I have said is credible or not. You are simply responding with emotion. You're reacting. That's it. So save the waterworks. Save the dramatics. Save the theatrics. I don't give two shits what you think about me. I really don't. I don't make videos for the fucking idiots out there who aren't thinking, who are just reacting. I make my videos for the people who are capable and willing to think. For the people who are misled unwittingly 
by the false information put out there. Those are the people I'm attempting to get to. All these diehard fucking retards, I don't give two shits about them. I'm not trying to save Freeman anymore. I'm not trying to save Earl. They're, they're fucking gone. They're, psh. I mean, there's, you can't save them. I mean, that's not to say that they're beyond salvation. They could one day wake up and realize that they're fucking imbeciles and they've been doing it all wrong and they don't understand the goddamn thing about a goddamn thing. The likelihood of that is slim because they're all in their little echo chambers where their bad decisions are reinforced, where they're rewarded for their for their bad decisions, for their bad behavior, for their uh, misunderstanding of the law. So no, I'm not trying to save them. And if you and if you're butt hurt about the way I present things, then I'm not trying to save you. If you are capable of rational thought, if you are willing to listen, if you are capable of not strawmanning what I say, then it's for you. Take it. Look up. I put a link in the last video. If somebody wanted to check my to check the the citation, they're more than they're more than able to. It's, I make it as easy for you as you want it to be. And if you don't want to learn from it, there's a reason There's a reason why I think that, uh, that kids should not be forced to go to school past a certain age. Once kids can read, write, and do simple, basic math, I think it should be up to them. If they want to go into trade school, go into trade school. If they want to be emancipated, be emancipated. If they want to go on a track towards college, sure. I mean, if they're capable, let them. But what we have here is a bunch of retards who didn't want to go to school, who don't want to listen still, and are just trying to disrupt the class. Congratulations, you got your two minutes of fame. And uh, this ugly mug is still a first-year family law attorney, upperly mobile, the ladies love me, and I am just fine with you having your opinion about me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.